Hello my dear friends and welcome back to another Star Wars news update. In today's video we have some really exciting updates for the Obi-Wan Kenobi series, so no more jibber jabber, let's get straight into it. So we're going to begin with a new interview with Rupert Friend who is playing the Grand Inquisitor and he's teased how much this series is going to please fans, noting in particular some big cameos. Now, needless to say, after the Book of Boba Fett, the phrase big cameo is often met with skepticism because many promotionals and teasers before the show dropped ended up being highly exaggerated and terms like big cameo can often be thrown around without too much significance. Having said that, we did get some really exciting characters in the Book of Boba Fett, but some of the things that Robert Rodriguez was teasing before the show dropped set our expectations unreasonably high. So I do understand why it would be wise to maybe take what Rupert Friend said with a grain of salt. But by the sounds of things, my dear friends, this show is set to be exactly what fans have been waiting for since Revenge of the Sith. So let's dive into what he said. With Obi-Wan Kenobi barely over a month away from release, we are getting more details from several people involved within the show every week. Rupert Friend, who's going to play the Grand Inquisitor, is currently promoting his latest Netflix series, Anatomy of a Scandal. He was briefly interviewed by Hey You Guys at the world premiere of that series, and naturally, as you would expect, he was asked about the upcoming Star Wars Disney Plus series. So first of all, friend teased that Ewan McGregor is going to do things with the Kenobi character that will be, quote, a dream come true for fans. And he also said that we should expect some cameos and Easter eggs. And here is the quote, if it's possible to be any more excited than folks already are, I would be. I think it's one of the most thrilling additions to the Star Wars canon. I think Ewan McGregor is doing things with that role that is a dream for fans of the original films. We can't obviously have Alec Guinness back, but I just think that Ewan was absolutely born to play that part. But wonderful cameos from people I obviously can't tell you. Easter eggs galore, and yeah, it's a thrilling ride. And Rupert Friend is a versatile and very talented actor, and he's been in quite a few iconic roles in his time. And if you pardon the pun as the Grand Inquisitor, I'm sure he's going to be well-rounded. Now, this isn't the first time that Rupert Friend has been asked about the project recently. He did an interview with BBC's The One Show, where he admitted how much he would sweat while wearing the Grand Inquisitor costume. He would also go on to speak about the symbiotic relationship between the Star Wars fans and the people making Star Wars, something which the showrunner Deborah Chow has reiterated time and time again. If you remember, she hired some very talented Star Wars fans to build some of the droids for the set, and she knows that Star Wars fans are everything to this franchise. And so, Speaking of Obi-Wan Kenobi cameos, my dear friends, we have a new tease that Dexter Jetster is going to be in the series. We spoke about him a few months ago when Mike Chen, the author of Brotherhood, basically came out and said he's going to include him in his book. But now Jennifer Heddle, the executive editor for Star Wars books at Disney Publishing, has kind of teased we might see Dexter Jetster in the Kenobi series. She responded to a tweet from the official Star Wars Twitter account, which stated we're so excited for Star Wars celebration next month, but most importantly celebrating 20 years of Dexter Jetster. And Jennifer Heddle responded, keep your eyes peeled for him elsewhere too. Now some folks took this to mean that we're going to see him in the upcoming novel, since her role is in Star Wars books, but the nature of the tweet might be hinting at an appearance in a show, possibly Obi-Wan Kenobi or maybe even the Bad Batch. In my previous video on the topic, I broke down why I think Dex, as an old friend of Obi-Wan's, would make for a great ally that Obi-Wan seeks out for intel. Let's see how this pans out, besides, we're just over one month away. Now the cameos that Rupert Friend referred to no doubt include Leia, Luke, Baru, Owen, and the Inquisitors. But since making Star Wars leaks that Qui-Gon's Force Ghost is also going to be in it, I wonder who else he might be referring to. I've always believed that Kenobi would be the perfect series to give prequels fans some real love and fan service. As unlikely as it is, imagine if we saw folks like Watto, Jar Jar, Dex, and others. Characters that were spawned from George Lucas's late 90s and early 2000s imagination that would make the show feel right at home as the natural continuation from Revenge of the Sith, 10 years later in the timeline. It sounds banal, but exploring those characters after all these years, even if it's just brief, would hit the perfect nostalgia notes for fans who grew up with the prequels. Even just throwing in one or two in the background and were golden. And by the sounds of things from Rupert Friend's interview, this might be the case. He does say it's going to be Easter eggs galore. So when the show drops, my dear Meglorians, keep your eyes peeled. You never know who's in the background. 
And so finally, my dear friends, just a quick piece on The Mandalorian. In yesterday's video, we looked at the Romper interview with Bryce Dallas Howard, where she teased that for the Ahsoka series, Clone Wars fans are going to be rewarded. I also wanted to cover something else she mentioned that deserves its own section. At one point in the interview, she addresses the Mandalorian, Din Djarin's powerful Beskar armor. The context is her addressing concerns that the Mandalorian's Beskar armor makes him too powerful. When the interviewer first mentioned the idea that Beskar seems to be completely impervious, Howard agreed. Afterwards, Romper pointed out that Mando appears not to be injured inside since he's basically being shot by lasers. And this is where they allude to concerns of Din being quote, overpowered. This is how the exchange went. Romper said, you might not have the answer to this, but Beskar it seems to be completely impervious. Mando seems to be able to be shot multiple times in the chest without taking any damage. And this is how Bryce responds, you're absolutely right, he is very strong and in Mandalorian culture, they're trained to be warriors and so they can do that, but then that's where Bacter Spray comes in as well, because he doesn't have a Bacter tank like Boba, but Bacter Spray is helpful. But you're absolutely right, in the Boba Fett season, Mando got sliced by the Darksaber and then his leg was messed up. I was super excited to have that because I wanted to show that he gets hurt and then heals from the Bacta Spray and she also teases that in Season 3, Mando's struggles are going to be showcased more. And I've heard a couple of things, a couple of whisperings for the Mandalorian in Season 3 that proves this. I'm not going to talk about that in this video but I will reveal it when I've got some more information. But going back to this interview, Bryce is a gem, she answered that like a pro, and all of this discussion goes back to the fact that season 3 is going to be very Din-centric. We've learned a little bit of Mando's backstory through season 1, season 2 was all about Grogu and finding a Jedi, he goes off with Luke but then returns to Mando in the Book of Boba Fett, and now Din is going to atone for his sins in the living waters under the minds of Mandalore. And in that process, we are going to see more of his struggles physically and emotionally, and hopefully learn a little bit more about the character. I can't wait and evidently was set to get more reveals at Star Wars Celebration. But with that said my dear friends, what do you think? Do you think the Mandalorian is too powerful? Are these concerns absolutely bogus? And what cameos do you think we're going to get in the Obi-Wan Kenobi series? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a big fat thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and a massive welcome if you are. And if you want more videos that you can't find here on YouTube, check out my Patreon page. The link is down there in the description. But until the next one guys, have an incredible day. May the force be with you always. I'm Star Wars Meg. Have a good one.